Aloha, my friends. I wanted to make this video to help you with your costs for entrepreneurship. Um, all our businesses are so different, it's really hard to teach it in class. So I hope this video helps. Let's take a look. Um, on my screen, I made a doc, and I have fixed costs and variable costs. Fixed costs are things we buy once, and in real life, a lot of these will get paid over time, but we're just getting started. We want to get um, some idea of the costs with this. So I'm going to just pretend I'm opening up like a pliables type of restaurant where I have one sort of food that I sell and I sell it from a location. So first thing I'm going to do is do the research and it turns out it's going to cost me um, $50,000 to rent a nice storefront next. Um, and that's for the whole year. Now I'm going to buy a vehicle, but let's say it's a $20,000 vehicle and I'm going to pay that off over five years. So five, 10, 15, 20. So each year I'm going to pay for $5,000 worth of the vehicle because there's like a, a loan there. Now machines, if I'm making food, I'm going to need refrigerators. I'm going to need, um, I'm also going to include like all the kitchen stuff. So um, utensils, fridges, freezers, blenders, knives. These are all things that won't get used up um, very quickly. So all of that, let's just pretend I did the math. I went and shopped for all that stuff. It came to $20,000 for all of the kitchen sort of things I needed. Now, I also might need some furniture. I'm going to want a little office for a desk and a chair, a computer, um, I need a phone, I need internet, so all of those kinds of things. I'm just calling that office furniture. And in the restaurant, are, my, are you going to let people sit down and eat? So you're going to need tables. You might have like some other furniture that you need. I'm not doing it right now, but you would want to go and actually do some shopping and find those numbers. I'm going to put 10000 on it. And then advertising. In real life, you want to have... Um, your advertising budget be about 1% of your income. We don't know that right now, so I'm just going to put 5000 on it. That's a total guess. I would say as long as you have between 1000 and 10000 for your advertising, you'll be good. So my fixed costs um, for year one, are going to be, what do we have, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90,000? And I hope I'm right. I'm just going to keep going, 50, 60, 80, 85, $90,000. So those are all things that we need just to open the door. Now labor. For our class, I want you to pay yourself. I want you to pay another full-time employee. And then you could choose to do another part-time or another full-time employee. Well, this place is going to be open like 10 hours a day six days a week. So I'm going to just assume I have three employees. And I'm not going to pay them really well. These are not really highly skilled workers. So let's just say three people full time. Um, and that is going to be, let's see, we'll go $10 an hour. And if we each work 40 hours a week, 40, uh, 40, 80, 120 hours. Times 10. If you guys could see this calculator, times 10. So it's really not that much money. Um, $1,200 in labor per week. Now, let's just assume um, we're open for 50 weeks a year. So that's going to be $60,000 per year in labor. And that's low, all right? $10 an hour is not very much money. So that's you getting paid $10 an hour and two other employees. So $60,000, that's not very much money to earn. So I may have a mistake there, or maybe I should be more realistic and increase um, how much I'm paying them. 
I'm just going to put this in here. It's going to be hard to keep good help at that price, but let's just go for it. Now, let's assume I've already done the, the shopping and I figured out the, the bowl and the spoon cost a certain amount. And then all the ingredients, I added all that up, the fruit, the yogurt, the toppings, whatever is going into this. And I came up with $5 per, per item. That's going to be the ingredients. Okay. So I'm getting there, but I don't know how many I can sell. Um, I'm going to be open six days a week. And they don't take very long to make. So let's say it takes five minutes to, to make one and sell it. Um, and we're open six days a week, 10 hours per day. And again, we're just getting a ballpark here. So if I take 60 minutes and divide that by the five minutes it takes, I can make 12 of these per hour. So 12 an hour times 10 hours, that's 120. Um, day okay so 120 times five dollars my variable cost per day is going to be 600 for the food let me make sure I did that right yeah I think that's right so again Um, we're going to be open, so I'll do 600 for the day times six days a week. So it's 3,600 times 50 weeks in a year. I'm taking two weeks off, if you guys are wondering why it's 50, not 52 weeks. So it's $180,000 in um, ingredients, we'll call it. Um, the total variable cost here is 180000 plus the 60000 Gets me to $240,000. So the total cost is going to be the fixed of 90 plus the variable. 240 and there's a lot of things that are going to be different here in real life, but that's okay So I'm going to add these together plus 90,000 That gets me to total cost for one year of $330,000 I'm going to stop here in the next video. I'm going to show you how you there's two different ways to set your prices um, And then once we have an idea of the prices we can figure out how much of a profit we have So I'll be back in the next video